traces of a significant past. Kamal Makelef is proud of the Islamic legacy of Andalusia. He is Algerian himself, but came to Cordoba 30 years ago. This city played an important role in the Middle Ages and was a significant Islamic center. I would say that not only Muslims, but everyone is proud of Islamic civilization in Spain. The whole of humanity can be grateful. But not everyone would agree. For the far-right Vox party, which won 11% of the vote in regional elections last year, Spain's Muslim past and present pose a danger. The party chairman warned of a new Arab invasion in an online video. Our religious and artistic heritage is being threatened by money from radical Islamic countries. But we didn't reconquer Spain for nothing. Construction of the Great Mosque of Cordoba began in the 8th century, but its center was converted into a Catholic church during the Reconquista. Muslims are currently not allowed to pray in the complex. Today's Muslim community, which is a minority, prays at a mosque on the outskirts of the city. Kamal Makelev is the president of the Muslim Association of Cordoba. He's concerned that the far-right Vox party now has 12 seats in parliament. These people don't want to acknowledge the magnificent legacy that Islam has left here. These are the ruins of the caliphate city of Medina Azahara, which was listed as a UNESCO World Heritage Site last year. Excavation and restoration continue here, but they are costly. The director, Alberto Montejo, is trying to raise funds in Arab states. Cordoba and Medina Azahara are a real reference for the Arab world. We're in contact with the embassies of Arab states and we're trying to explore what form of support they could offer our work. Far-right extremists are angry about this, but nobody would say this in front of the camera. We asked some of the Vox Party's sympathizers what they thought. Mari Valia de Lara fears that Spain is becoming dependent on rich Arabs. They're invading Europe. They don't want to accept defeat, and we're just watching. That annoys me. On the one hand, we say this is Spain, Europe. And on the other, we're just accepting the border to shift at the Pyrenees. It's all about the money. Pepe Lopez, the owner of this store, which sells religious articles, also voted for Vox. She's a staunch advocate of the unity of the Catholic Church and Spain. She argues that this is threatened by Muslims, both poor refugees and rich benefactors. They probably want the cathedral back. It used to be their mosque. But it's not only an Arab building. Christians completed it. The majority of Andalusians do not share these views, but they are becoming more mainstream. The UNESCO World Heritage Site's director, Alberto Montejo, says that it's important to point out how the Moors enriched Spain. Islam was here for over 800 years, and it left significant traces in nature, in our way of being, in the food, the language. We cannot ignore this. For Kamal Makelev, it is this very fact and the way that different cultures interact that make up Spain today. He hopes that the far right will not gain more influence. If people were to see us on the street and say, look, they want to reconquer Al-Andalus, it would of course be hurtful. It would mean that the propaganda has worked and people are scared. But in the end, he says, the far right is shooting itself in the foot. Islam's legacy has had an impact not only on Muslims, 
but on all Spaniards. And a bit of this culture remains in each of them, even far-right extremists.